Oh, it's you. Are you just returning now? We were just finishing our meeting. We're so in sync. Yeah, no. This is because the meeting just wouldn't end. We just kept talking in circles. That wouldn't have happened if you'd not raised an objection to my proposal. Don't you think so, Sarah? Oh, sure. Just give the okay to that absurd nonsense? Maria would kill me! All I suggested was to lift restrictions on weapons and provide more powerful armaments. What's wrong with that? No one is going to go along with that. And where are you going to find the supplies for something like that? You're basing all of this on your own criteria. Knock it off. Okay, come now. You two aren't going to get anywhere with all of this arguing. Sorry for the fuss. Our meeting with the Bureau representatives is finished. You probably know this, but I've become Commander of the Combat Bureau. And I'm Lieutenant now! <laughs> they keep electing dangerous people. No matter, given that the work in your positions is so simple. We of the General Affairs Bureau are errand runners, you see. We manage materials, supervise, and so forth. Regius wanted the Training Bureau, so Miss Maria became Head of General Affairs. Should have seen her face when it was decided. And because of that, basically all the work's gonna trickle down to me. It's so annoying! Okay, you two. That's enough lollygagging. Return to your respective bureaus and prepare your reports. Oh! Hey, you! Let's head out into the field together soon! I'm headed back. See you later. Join the Bravers, too. Don't let those summoners steer you wrong! Come on, Eo! What's wrong with being a summoner, though? Get serious, Eo! Come on! You know, you say that, but... Why exactly are we copying Azanami's advocacy method? If the summoners are gonna sell people on cute pets, that just leaves us class advocates to appeal to people with our own cuteness. Pressing that unfair advantage of theirs and tricking even... Gah! Those summoners are incorrigible! I'm pretty sure that's all in your imagination. Ah, hello there. Sorry, Katori's being annoying, as always. Katori proposed some ideas to advocate for the bouncers, which is rare. I figured I would come down to see what she was doing, and there it is. That is not a problem, though. She'll probably figure out it's pointless before long. I'm not so sure about their whole... The summoners are sneaky and we don't want to lose to them imperative, though. Although, Katori is trying to spread the bouncer class in her own way. There's some merit in that. Yet, instead of her half-hearted performance, she should embrace the spirit of rivalry. That'll make her stronger, too. I really just feel bad for Io, having been dragged into all this. All I can do for her is stop thinking about it like she suffered an accident. Bouncers! Bouncers! Bouncers are better than summoners! Save a life! Think a bouncer! Oh, and the Bravers. Okay, Eo. We're hitting the gate area next. 
Make it stop already! This is Earth Guide's headquarters? Calm down, Cory. You're being rude after they were good enough to invite us here. What now? Isn't that exactly how a certain somebody reacted? Can it, Space Brain? Cory Washinomia, welcome. I am Adam Sacred. I'm glad to meet you, Anga and Hitsugi. All of you protect Earth's evolution and carry its future on your shoulders. Uh, I appreciate the courtesy, <laughs> but I'm really nobody. There's no need for such humility. On the Earth, where evolution has become stagnant, you are key because you use ether. You should be proud. Your abilities are a glimmer of hope that may lead the Earth forward. You will carry humanity into its next era. Even knowing that, so long as I'm by Hitsugi's side, I'll be happy. I just want to help Al. So all this tough stuff, it's all yours, Enga. I've heard this so many times, I'm sick of it. Adam tells everyone. You've heard it so many times, because it is a fact. The problem is a problem for Earth itself, and we can't afford to rely solely upon arcs. Evolution has stopped, and if the people who are stuck aren't pushed to a new stage, they will fall into ruin waiting for it. Taking down Mother is crucial, but thinking beyond that is also critical. You talk like a politician. Careful you don't trip and fall on your ass with your head up in the clouds like that. I'm not worried. You're watching my footing for me, aren't you? Ah, I have a meeting to attend. Apologies, but I must take my leave for now. Please, relax and unwind for a while. Adam's a busy guy, huh? Eh, with clout like his, he's got plenty to deal with. Conflict mediation, negotiations, and all that jazz. That said, I'm sure he's well compensated for it, so he doesn't need our pity. I don't know if I really like him. Something about him feels desperate. Desperate? I mean, the world's always suffering in some way, but lately it has been especially rough. Right? You must be jealous. We're not going on a date. I'm just helping you train. No ordinary person is enough to train with me, so sometimes I ask my predecessor to join me. You don't know how to pull punches, Claire's Craze. I'm pretty sure that's why your partners get tired of you so quickly. Of course! It would be meaningless to go easy on someone in training. It's an endeavor meant for accurately affirming one's true strength. A fair point, but it can be helpful to make people more confident, too. You don't think being the one to lose can help? Hmm... Do you play that part, too? Perhaps even while training with me? Oh, um... You know I 
always fight using all my strength. All the time, you bet. I used to say that myself, and you don't have to try to forcibly change the subject. I'm weaker than Matoy anyway. I'm not taking it easy on you on purpose. No matter what she tried, though, it's a fact that we fought to a draw, meaning we're equally matched. I never worry about my opponent's circumstances. Huey would say, you're strong if you win and weak if you lose. And I agree. Yeah, that's true. But... If you were to intentionally take it easy on me... Oh, that would make me angry! You got that, Matoy? No pulling any punches today, under any circumstances. Got it? Um... But... Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll fight harder than I ever have today. <laughs> That's what I was hoping to hear! Hey there! Taking a breather? Same, same. <laughs> I'm purified in everything, but if I overdo it, Philly is going to get mad at me again, so I'm trying to take an actual break. Plus, the Ark ship changed a lot while we were asleep, so it's fun to go around and see it all. Uh, oh my! And this is Summoner Advocate Pietro, as I recall. Ah, <sighs> mon ami. And your partner. Are you two guardians enjoying a little rest together? <laughs> partner? I mean, I've thought about it myself, but hearing it out loud... Is a partner not a good thing? Friend or otherwise, I should think it always good to have someone by your side. <sighs> ah, you will hear me out, mon ami? Truly all must have a friend, no? I had a sudden thought. I wondered, what if, perhaps, my love for my babies was a bit one-sided? Ah, oh, but do allow me to finish, mon ami. I know that the very notion beggars belief. I am well aware. I cannot forgive myself to think that I would ever doubt the love of my babies, even for a moment. And so, this loneliness is a punishment for me. My children understand that, and so did not try to detain me. say such a thing. Plus, if you're feeling lonely, your pets must be feeling the same way. You should be nodding your head at a time like this. Come on! Oh, look! Huh? Oh. Elizabeth. No. Stay away! I'm too ashamed to look you all in the face. I am the lowest of the low. All of you unconditionally loved me so. With your hits, stabs, and bites, I can scarcely believe I doubted that love and thought perhaps you attacked out of displeasure. You can't speak words. But you showed you loved me with your actions, and I doubted it. I failed as a summoner! Ah! <laughs> 
No! Elizabeth! Don't come near me! I... I... So... Am I imagining things? Or is it Pietro who's inching closer there? Huh? Elizabeth, your expression shows such love and affection. Are you still willing to forgive me? Elizabeth! Oh! Thank you! Thank you, Elizabeth! I shall never, never doubt your love ever again! <laughs> Elizabeth! You're even feistier than usual. You missed me, too. All right. Ouch. Ouch! Let's go home and eat. Today, we'll be having a feast absolutely full to bursting with love. Uh... I don't really know how I should take this. Although, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world for Pietro's pets to always stay with him. Oh dear me, Elizabeth! Don't do that! The feast is when we get home! I am not the feast! Uh, maybe... Hitsuki? Are you really going to fight Mother? What? Losing your nerve at the 11th hour? Oh, no. I was just thinking about how this has all gotten so big, it might be too much for us. True. Somewhere along the way, this became a serious affair. We're dealing with the leaders of Mother Corps, Avatar Arms, Eska Fall Spawn. I never could have imagined. But no matter how big of a deal it is, it doesn't change my objectives. I'm going to save Al from Mother. That's my only goal. I see. You're still unsure, Cory? Oh, about whether you can turn against Mother? Huh? N no, I'm not! You're a part of this. So, we can't really tell if it's Mother or us that's wrong. So, that's not important. It's about whether we have the determination to act. It's about thinking and deciding for yourself. That's it. If you're still unsure, Cory, you don't have to push yourself to go along with me. That would only bring pain. Hitsugi, you want to save Al. <laughs> that makes me want to support you. And that's my only goal. That's why I have no reservations. I'm going with you, Hitsugi. Cory. And if Mother is making a mistake, we need to help her by stopping her. That's our responsibility as Mother Corps. Well, I'm going to forge ahead just like always. I hope you're ready, Cory. I am. You know, you've changed. Really? You don't think it's just an act? I don't. Before, you used logic to find solutions and push through. But you're different now. Now, you just say what you want and do it, coming out swinging. 
You make it sound like I act without thinking. <laughs> Which I guess isn't wrong. But you know, I like you better now, Hitsugi. <laughs> huh? You're not going to get mad? <laughs> Call me a fake? And try to slice me up? <laughs> when that was going on. It did seem like you were a fake. Hmm, tell me how you really feel. Jeez. I really was feeling lost, though. <laughs> you stabbed me good, though, Cory. I guess that woke me up. <sighs> you can slice and dice and stab me, Hitsugi! Kill me yourself! And then... I'll live on in your heart. Eternally. Faintly. Hey, you know? That's kind of romantic. Living on forever in someone's heart. <sighs> what I really learned... was to never, ever... Let myself waver. Oh, hey, good timing. This is to be our final battle, so let's call Earth Guide to ask for help. And we got through. Hmm? There's no video output? Weird. Yo, Sir Adam, can you hear us? It's loud and clear, Eka. The audio is fine. Though the video connection seems to be on the fritz. Perhaps it has something to do with the influence of the phantasms on the moon. You guys picked up on that too. You could have given us a friendly warning. I apologize. We were still in the middle of making preparations here. However, I can guess why you got in touch, Anka. All of our preparations are complete. Earth Guide will support you with all the power we have, myself included, of course. For the sake of the people on Earth and their evolution, we must win this battle. However, the strength of those of Earth alone will not be enough. As such, Ark's operatives, please offer assistance in our hour of need. Enga, I want to make it clear to you. Please don't forget how important your safety and power are. Please be careful, and I'll see you next time, after you survive this. Huh. Likewise. Everything is in place for working with Earth Guide. Seems your worries were unfounded, Enga. He called our comrade here and not Hitsugi. Did they see through me? No, not a chance. What was that, Enga? Nothing. More importantly, when are things going to be ready here, Sierra? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. I determined the strike point, calculated the enemy's strength, made plans, and received full approval. I've even received general approval for all kinds of backup plans. That's all I'm able to do, so I'll leave the rest to all of you. I'm sorry for always relying on you so much. I know I can count on you.
This place is wild. Who the heck makes a building that goes underground instead of above? Gravity and air are normal too. Huh? I was kind of looking forward to only having one sixth of Earth's gravity. It might be the same technology as the field that ARCS deploys when it fights Elder in space. If one considers photons and ether the same phenomenon, this is not all that surprising. Ah, but more importantly, do you remember this place? It's similar to the inside of the old mothership where Xion was. It's like they're mirror images. Is Mother trying to make a mothership on the moon because she's a replica of Xion? But her technology wasn't good enough, so it manifested exactly the same as the original? So, the moon here is becoming a mothership? Oh, ho, ho. it is manifesting like a mothership. You just might have hit the nail on the head there, little miss. Eritron. Have you joined with them, Kore Washinomia? I'm sorry. I... can't follow Mother anymore. <laughs> very well. Very well. That new look in your eyes is more preferable anyway. It simply means that this is where you belonged all along. Will you back down? If I said I would, it would be a bold-faced lie. And I'm already bold enough. <laughs> no matter what? Stop wasting words, little missy. I have resolved to follow Mother. This stubborn old man is long since set in his ways. Nothing you say will sway me, and as such... <laughs> Splendid! You have done well to defeat me. My will is to serve, Mother. Your will is to impede, Mother. If this be the result of our wills clashing, I have no regrets. Would you go this far for her, Eratron? It is not a question of good or ill. It is a question of what drives us. When I met Mother, I saw that she could change the world. I wanted to be by her side and see what kind of world she would create. 
My old and withered heart discovered a new path when I met her. What else could I possibly believe in? And you, Hitsugi Asaka, I believe it was. Have you found the same? Do you know what shape your soul desires? <laughs> Such determination. If that pits you against mother, then go forth. Follow your heart and put an end to her. Holding on to your resolve like that. That's what life's all about, little missy. And you there. Surely you, a seasoned warrior, understand that. Eska Fallspawn, where are they all coming from? Mother cannot contain them all. And with this place rich in ether, they spring up on Mars. What a pickle. Eratron? I lost, and you won. Thus, you will press on, and I will remain here. Simple, really. I will brook no dissent, Kore Washinomia. You needn't look back on a path you've already chosen. Move straight ahead! There is a time that comes upon your life when you look back knowing that you have reached the end. The contemplation of your journey is then permissible. Let's go. Don't waste his sacrifice. What? Come on, Cory. You have to move forward. Straight ahead. Otherwise, you'll be left behind. <laughs> they say... Continuing down a path one believes in is like living a dream. I've had an enjoyable journey. And what a wonderful ending. Dazzling and vivid. Tempestuous and beautiful. It is the future. All is well. All is well. I've seen wonderful things coming to this conclusion. It is a good ending.
I have been waiting for you, Hitsugi Asaka. And your ally. It seems you brought uninvited companions. But I am beneficent. I will forgive them. Pretty hoity-toity of you, mother. You act like this place belongs to you. Yes, you've put it perfectly. As you say, Enga Yasaka. This place does belong to me. For it is me. And you? You've seen this place before, haven't you? Surely you recognize it. Indeed. This is where I took shape. Where I became anchor to this world. It is my place. <laughs> the Photoners birthed me and abandoned me in the subspace. Long I drifted through the void before I came to Earth in antiquity. When I crashed into the planet, the fierce impact altered the environment and the evolutionary course of its life forms. My crash left me in pieces. In my broken state, I spent a veritable eternity before I finally Reassembling and taking shape once again. That is why there is a moon at all. Are you telling me she's behind the giant impact? You are well informed, Inga Yasaka. That is the name that the people of Earth gave the origin of the moon. Mind you, what collided with Earth was not a planet, but an abandoned Akashic Records replica. Not that you could know that. There are Eska Falls spawned here too? Do not stand in my way, false bomb. I am still here, and my objectives do not involve you. My... my objective is to reclaim my role as Xi'an's replica... and take revenge on the photoners who cast me aside. I will prove that I am not a failed creation. I do not desire the destruction of the world. I do not care what happens to the photons. They are not but tools to me. I will become one with the Earth, the Moon, the Universe. Travel back to triumph over the photoners. And that's why you absorbed Al? To get the power you need for retribution? Yes. They will see my command of photons and drink deep my rancor. I was a vessel fit to contain Dark Falls photons. And the ether hybrid, Al. Yet. The connections that remain inside him to the two of you have preserved Al's existence. Those connections must be severed. As such, I need you to die. I do not know! I am not yet an Akashic Record! 
I will understand my future when I get there. <sighs> this discussion is no longer productive. Wouldn't you agree, Hitsugi Asaka? <sighs> yes, Mother. My goal is to take Al back. To do that, I have to defeat you! My objective is vengeance against the Photoners. To achieve that, I must kill the both of you. Our paths will never align! Indeed. Let us begin, Angel of Purity. If your cause is just, defeat me and save him. Try to take Al from me! Emergency! Rule! You! All accounting and calculations are completed. Completed! Determination surpass even me? I will not lose for the sake of my followers. I will not rest until I achieve my dream! <laughs> Was it waiting to come out until Mother's power weakened? Stop! You malicious crystal! I do not desire destruction! I... I... only... Oh! Mother! Turned completely into Dark Falls inside Mother? Hello? Hisugi, I can hear you. Al! Is that you, Al? I'm still here. Mother is here with me, too. Hey, big sis. I'm sure you understand now. You understand that Mother is suffering, too. Yeah, I understand. Mother was lonely. She was abandoned and left all alone. I... I know how it feels... to be all alone. You too. I wish. Please save Mother. That's my... final wish. 
<laughs> I don't wish. <laughs> don't talk like that, Al. <laughs> that was my intention all along. That's why I came here. I'm going to save Mother along with you, Al. And that's going to save the world. That's our story. <laughs> it's simple. Right? My power is for saving people. I'm coming for you, Al. And for Mother. It's stopping, I guess. But it doesn't feel like this is over. Still, we made it in time! Dealing with Dark Falls is Ark's job! Isn't that right, our two guardians? Clarissa! Help me! your chance, Itsugi! Quick! While we hold up the Dark Falls! Of course! Ame no Morokumo! Now is the moment! Lend me your power once more! Give me the power to save everyone! I won't let you stand in Itsugi's way! Kick some ass, Hitsugi! Cory, Enga! And you. You have done splendidly, Hitsugi Asaka. It seems 
You have saved the hybrid, L. No, it's more than that. You've cut out the dark falls within him and truly set him free. As that is so, there is only one thing left. Take that sword and end me. This can all end. So too shall my eternal solitude conclude. Yes, I suppose that was my wish all along. And now I will be. That hurt, Hitsugi Asaka. Well, good! Why else would I have hit you? Tell me, Mother. <sighs> Why did you invite only the lonely to Mother Corps? That was true for me and Cory. And certainly Oak in full, too. <laughs> Haggith was always out of place. As well as Bator. It was true for all of us. We were all alone. That was nothing more than a practical decision to make you reliant upon me. But... I was happy then. It made me so happy <laughs> to be needed by someone. You feel the same, right? It wasn't revenge you wanted. You just wanted to be acknowledged. You just wanted someone to acknowledge that you exist. <laughs> you certainly know how to spin an emotional tale out of pure conjecture. <laughs> Don't be snippy. I have evidence. Sierra told us that photons and ether were originally the same thing. But here, photons transformed into ether. They transformed into something specialized for communication, for making connections. That's because you're the source of ether. And you wanted connections more than anything. Am I wrong? So, what? Even so, where does that leave me? I simply wanted to make them see. I wanted those who deemed me unnecessary to take another look and acknowledge me that they no longer even exist. No matter how strong I am or how much power I display, I could... I could have never had what I wanted. Then all you have to do is make a new goal. A new goal? It is too late for that. How could it be too late? You were asleep for billions of years. So no matter how long it takes, it should be nothing to you. What I'm saying is, you can take your time and figure things out. You needn't abandon your desire for revenge. I mean, I'm still mad at you. And I'd like to repay Cory for stabbing me. But you had people who needed you. That's a simple fact, Mother. You saved people. You saved the old me. <laughs> and it was the same for Cory. Let's go home. So you can rethink things properly. Try thinking things over and talking it out with us. Then, if you still really want revenge, just let me know. I'll cut out those anguished thoughts with Ame no Murakumo all over again. Okay, no more complaints. We're going! I promise to come here and save everyone, after all. Hmm. 
You have become quite assertive, Hitsugi Yasaka. Hate to break it to you, but I was born this way. Let's go home, Mother. We're together now. Yes, and we have been all along. If I'd had a hand to hold, that would have been enough. Hitsugi, Al, and even Mother! Man, I can't believe my idiot sister pulled it off! Inga! I'm so glad you're back, Al. I am so proud. a bit overly familiar, but I'm too happy to care. Welcome back, Al! I'm so glad you came back safe. Hitsuki Yasaka. Hmm? Thank you. I... Thank you for your efforts, Mother. Your role in this ends here. Oh no! Mother! Adam? How did you get here? Oh, fear. My apologies, Mother. For the sake of human evolution, this needed to be done. I am grateful to you. Thanks to the ether you created, Earth is moving on to its next step. And now I will absorb you, allowing you to become a part of your beloved Earth as the foundation of the coming paradigm shift. Surely that brings you joy, Mother? Thank you, Hitsugi, and Anga, and Kori, and you as well. Without your help, I don't believe we could have survived this. Please accept my enduring gratitude. Why would you do this? Why? To protect the Earth. I believe you're all fully aware that Mother would do harm to the Earth. As such, she must be killed. Isn't this the obvious choice for a leader of Earth to make? At one point, yes! But she'd already relented! That's not the only thing wrong here, Adam. Why did you bring him? What are you two playing at? Enga and Cory, I ask you, please don't be so defensive. I am simply Mother Core's Disciple of Mercury, and a member of Earth Guide. That is all. You were a spy for Earth Guide? Even so, you had a pretty good time playing the part. Huh? Everything was necessary to achieve our objective. That is all. Our... objective? Enga, do you recall what I said when I invited you to join Earth Guide? that the Earth is stuck right now. Indeed. It is a world of nothing but aimless consumption, with neither innovation nor evolution. The Earth needs guidance to evolve further. 
And with that guidance, we can reach a new paradigm shift. Earth Guide guides the Earth. If we do not succeed in that, the planet has no future. You are one of the chosen, Enga. Please understand. I want you to lend me your strength. I need you, you see. I always thought you were sucking up to me to get more fighting power. But you look serious. Adam, do you really think killing Mother and taking her power will allow you to change the world? Oh, I know I can change the world. I have changed it countless times, over thousands and tens of thousands of years. Wait. You've made changes? Over thousands of years? As an example, there was a time when I did a lot of writing. I was simply making notes of things I'd learned. But everyone was very grateful. When something was in danger of being misinterpreted, sometimes I'd change my name and step up to correct the various theories. There were also ages when my disciples' descendants came to be well and truly despised. That's a more recent development, I suppose. Speaking of bad times, there was that time I helped out the King of Britain. You people can be reasoned with. He, however, was crude, self-absorbed. The sheer deceit and exploitation. Ugh. Oh yes, I did a stint in Japan once. War was much more common in Japan back then creating foul energy that brought spirits out in droves. I taught them how to cope, how to read the heavens, all kinds of things. Ah, memories. Back then, Life on Earth was so vibrant, and I worked with people to bring evolution after evolution. But look at things now. Doesn't it sadden you to see how stagnant this world is? This transcendent technology, ether, was the perfect opportunity for a paradigm shift. Yet it's used as a mere extension of existing technology. There has been neither spiritual nor physical progress. In fact, humanity actually seems to be regressing. What an alarming situation. What an alarming age. You feel it, don't you, Anga? Sorry, but I've no idea what you're on about. Actually, I don't even want one. Hitsuki, was his story earlier actually the legend of King Arthur? If you thought so too, then I guess I wasn't mistaken. The Japan story must have been about that astrologer Abe no Seime. Were all of them from history and legend? Oh yes, Abe no Seime. I was known by that name at one time. You are clever, Hitsuki. You truly are Enga's sister. Adam, just what the hell are you? I've had many names, but right now, I am Adam Sacred, the leader of Earth Guide. <gasps> well, well. It's been too long, Ives. It has indeed, Adam. How many centuries has it been since we met face to face? 
Has it really been that long? I came then because of your infatuation with alchemy. Remember how I raised your facility to the ground? Oh, that. That did happen. How nostalgic. I believe I was Paracelsus then, correct? Names are nothing to you and I. My, my. I have no chance of convincing everyone now that you're here, Ives. Oh, well. Let's get going, Ophio. As you wish, Sir Adam. A portal? Adam, where the hell are you going? What a silly question, Anger. I told you. The Earth is stuck. The Earth cannot be expected to make progress on its own. And if people will not choose the right path, then I must guide evolution. I will lead Earth and write a new history. That is the purpose of Earth Guide. Wait! Lead Earth and guide evolution? Are you trying to play God, Adam? I didn't team up with you to do ridiculous shit like that! <laughs>